I was <coughs> 12 when they began in 74 and um, I remember it very well um, and um, yeah so I guess for the first sort of 15, 10, well 10 years um, I got to enjoy them uh, as a child um, and then of course um, responsibility took over and um, it's been work ever since but it's still a great day whenever it happens. When the Beach Boys played in 1980, um, one it was the last time they played in their truly original lineup. Um, but two, it was unusual because it was the first time I'd seen that many people dancing at the same time. I mean, nowadays we think, you know, we've all been through the 90s and so we, we understand that dance, you know, dance is a group activity, you know, we've all been to um, events like that since. But back in 1980, you'd never seen an entire field of people dancing before. You know, as the largest venue in the country, to be in a crowd of 125,000 people all feeling the same emotion. Um, I mean, we know that from football stadiums, but where, where you're talking 80,000 people, well, here you're talking 125,000 people. So that's a feeling that you cannot actually uh, recreate anywhere uh, on any other venue. I mean, even, even Glastonbury, uh, the main stage at Glastonbury only, I think, fits about 80,000. So we are, um, um, we are the biggest, and um, so it's the biggest crowd you'll, you'll get on a single stage. And um, for most artists, therefore, it becomes a real high point in their, in their careers. And um, they usually play Nebworth when they've got uh, a real statement to make. But, you know, we've had, like, Freddie Mercury's last ever show, obviously, is a massive event historically. Um, Led Zeppelin's last ever show with their, in, in the UK with their original lineup was a huge show. I've been to every single one but one. Um, I missed the second show, which was the uh, uh, Pink Floyd doing Wish You Were Here in Dark Side of the Moon in uh, 1975. And my father delights in telling me that that was the best, of course, <laughs> the one that I missed. But um, uh, in turn, he's only missed one, um, and that was the third night of Robbie, and I delight in telling him that actually the third night of Robbie was the best. Um, but no, yes, I've, I mean, both of us are very privileged to have seen every single one of those concerts but one. I don't believe there's been a better show ever than, than the Robbie Williams show here in 2003. I thought as a, as a complete show, that was about as good as it gets. Uh, you know, whatever you think of Robbie or the music, look at that as a show, it doesn't get any better than that. And because, you know, because we are a museum, um, you know, th those memories will live on. You know, that, uh, those stories will keep being told by this house. And um, that's great to think of, that in uh, 100 years' time, you know, the guides who are giving tours of Nebworth uh, um, on a Saturday afternoon will be you know, not only talking about Charles Dickens and Winston Churchill, they'll be talking about Mick Jagger and, and uh, Liam Gallagher as well. Um, I remember my brother's birthday cake being woofed by Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. <laughs> um, uh, and, um, you know, we've had, we had a wonderful teacup that Ella Fitzgerald had, uh, lip, her lipstick print was on the teacup for many years until uh, somebody rather overzealously washed it up, which was a shame, but, but it's, it, it hung on our wall for many years. So, so there are, have been wonderful moments like that. Um, you know, to have these guys um, um, sitting literally in this, this field here with this uh, as, as the backstage area, with this as their backdrop, is, um, you know, great griffins with axes and um, wonderful, all the gothic gargoyles of this house. Um, you know, that makes it a lot more interesting for them than playing in, um, you know, in, in some theatre in, uh, in, a, in a town. As we know, British summertime can often play you uh, tricks. Um, but there's only really been, I think Deep Purple was the one show where it really got quite wet. Um, but this is a wonderful, again, advantage of being on a hill, is that um, um, the ground recovers very quickly and um, you know, the venue works at whatever the weather. Yes, Nebworth will keep going and going. We've done 40 years, I'm sure we'll be, you know, a few years time we'll be celebrating 50 years of it. And then um, a few more years after that we'll be celebrating 100 years of it.